The Hershey's Milk Chocolate Fractions Book by Jerry Pelota and Rob Bolster. Milk Chocolate. Ooh, delicious! Here is a Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bar, the kind Milton Hershey made famous. Before we eat it, we are going to learn about fractions. Let's start by taking the wrapper off. Remember not to litter. Here we have one whole milk chocolate candy bar. And what is a fraction? A fraction is a part or a portion of a whole thing. We are using a Hershey's milk chocolate bar as our whole thing. If you break this candy bar apart, you will see 12 equal sections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. You can stack the 12 equal sections on top of each other. Hey, it looks different, but anyway you rearrange them, they still equal one whole candy bar. Maybe this is the easiest way to understand fractions. What would you rather eat? One twelfth of a candy bar? Or would you rather eat eleven twelfths of a candy bar? If you love milk chocolate, the answer is simple. As you can see, doing fractions can be fun. Here is one half of a Hershey's milk chocolate bar. And here is the other half. Six twelfths is equal to one half. When two fractions equal each other, they are called equivalent fractions. Here is one third of a whole Hershey's milk chocolate bar. How did we get to the fraction of one third? Think of it like this. Our candy bar can be divided into three equal groups. Each of the three groups has four sections. What is left over is two thirds. One third plus two thirds equals three thirds. When the top number and the bottom number are the same, the fraction is equal to one. Here is another way of saying one third. Four twelfths is equal to one third. And what is left over? Eight twelfths. Eight twelfths is equal to two thirds. Four twelfths plus eight twelfths equals twelve twelfths, which equals one whole candy bar. Here is one fourth of a Hershey's milk chocolate bar. If you want to call this fraction one quarter, that's okay too. Here is what is left over, three fourths, or you could call it three quarters. Three twelfths is another way of saying one fourth. Did you know that the top number of a fraction is called the numerator and the bottom number is called the denominator? Now you know. Let's explain it another way. Three fourths is equal to nine twelfths. It's time for something different. We can still do fractions without the candy bar. There are five cows on this page. Four cows have black spots and one cow has red spots. One fifth of the cows on this page has red spots. Did you ever wonder why Hershey's Chocolate Factory was built in the middle of farm country? That's an easy answer. Milk! One of the three main ingredients used in making milk chocolate is milk. If six cows mooed, and you mooed also, your moo would be one-seventh of all the moos on this page. Don't forget to ignore the duck. Back to the candy bar. We need to learn how to put a fraction into its lowest terms. If you divide the numerator and the denominator by the same factor, you can simplify this fraction to its lowest terms. One sixth is the lowest term of two twelfths. Five sixths is what is left over from a whole candy bar after removing one sixth. Here is an equation that is easy to understand. One sixth is equal to two twelfths. Here is another way to say five sixths. Ten twelfths. It is starting to look more delicious after every fraction we show. It's time for another break. Chocolate comes from cocoa pods. The cacao tree grows in very warm and moist climates. Here are eight pods. If one pod fell off and bonked you on the head, you would have been bonked on the head by one eighth of the cocoa pods on this page. Cocoa, milk, and sugar are the three main ingredients used in making milk chocolate. Sugar usually comes from sugar cane. If you cut down one stalk, you will have cut down one ninth of the sugar canes left on this field. Here is an interesting fraction. It is already in its lowest terms. The fraction 5 twelfths cannot be broken down or reduced any further. 
The amount left over from 5 twelfths is 7 twelfths. 7 twelfths is another fraction that is in its lowest terms. Here is a way to get a fraction of 1 tenth. There are 10 candy bars on this page. One out of the 10 candy bars is unwrapped. Here is a fraction where the top number is larger than the bottom number. This is called an improper fraction. 13 twelfths is really 1 1 twelfth. Whoever made this fraction used more than one candy bar. So far in this book, we learned that the main ingredients in milk chocolate are sugar, milk, and cocoa. We also learn the fractions 1 twelfth, 2 twelfths, 3 twelfths, 4 twelfths, 5 twelfths, 6 twelfths, 7 twelfths, 8 twelfths, 9 twelfths, 10 twelfths, 11 twelfths, 12 twelfths, and even 13 twelfths. We also did fractions of 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth, 1 sixth, 1 seventh, 1 eighth, 1 ninth, and 1 tenth. If you want to know what fraction of ingredients are used in making Hershey's milk chocolate bar, sorry, these fractions are top secret.